is Jesus bringing you another video. Um, just bought a in, inflatable life jacket and I've been doing an unboxing on that. I have the regular life jackets, but I wanted to get something less bulky so that when I'm doing my fishing, it's it's not um, bothering me. The the model I got was the Onyx A24. I liked it. I like it because on the pictures it looks pretty small. It comes in this. Uh, Neat holder. It's an automatic inflatable jacket and it it has a rearming kit. Um, that was important to me. I didn't want to just buy one that you could just use one time. So the rearming kit, if I ever have to inflate it, then I can just buy another rearming kit and use that. It's a universal fit. Fits uh, from 30 to 52 inch chest. Also in the back it comes with the uh, instructions that uh, device is not armed, read instructions, owner manual, to properly arm. So I'll, do, I'll, be, I'll be doing that right now. I have scissors around here somewhere here they are. So the uh, actual air tube comes separately and then I'll we'll install it right here. Okay. So we just go around me. Yeah, to adjust it. it's too tight right now. There we go. See how it looks. Still a bit too tight. Adjust it. You can make it bigger, so for the fat boys like myself. So now it's perfect. I mean, it's even loose, and right now it's winter time, so I do want it to fit me loose right now because when I'll be fishing, I'll have a bulky jacket, so I want that extra play in there. I'm taking a look and see how I look. I like it? It's 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 not that heavy. Here's the back side of it. Yeah, this this will work out great when I'm fishing. Just wanted to talk about a little bit why I bought this life jacket. A lot of us spend thousands of dollars on fishing rods and tackle, but we won't spend a couple hundred bucks on a life vest. It's it's too much, right? Um, that that was my thought as well, but there's a lot, lately there's been a couple fatalities, you know, in the fishing world, and it's important that we have our life vest out there. I mean, I I'm a father, I'm a husband, and my kids expect me to come home to them, and if I could wear this and it can improve my chances of coming home, then I'm gonna do it. So um, I just want to advocate for safety for everybody. You know, we love fishing, so that means we love life, right? So let's protect ourselves out there. Okay, so I'm going to arm my uh, inflatable. There's a CO2 cylinder. There's a little cap on it. See these instructions and see what they say. It's curious. Okay. Wow, this is kind of tight. You basically, you just gotta open up this little 
piece here. So this black little piece on there it stays on there. Let me lower my camera a little bit. Open up the side piece, install it here. So as soon as I installed the piece, this little service indicator went from red to uh, like a bluish color, so I know it's good to go. Just gonna insert it in there, close it up. And it should be good to go now. So you wanna make sure that before each trip you take a look at the service indicator and make sure it's blue. And once every two months, they recommend that you manually, um, you can manually blow this you take the cylinder off and then manually blow up the inflatable and leave it inflated for like 16 hours to make sure that uh, you'll, you'll notice if, if there's any leaks or anything like that. Also you need to double check and inspect the whole unit, make sure there's no holes or scratches or anything like that, that that might have gone through and poked a hole in the actual inflatable. The yellow cord is the manual operation. If you ever needed to pull it, but um, pretty much ready to go to the lake now. So I'm gonna try to sneak out tomorrow. Looking forward to it. Thanks for watching, guys.